I'm Sherry Tischer with Gale Funding, and thanks for checking out On the Clock Staffing Stats. I promise to end this video with some good news and, and how you might be able to find some new business, but let's start with average hourly earnings. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics September 4th report, the average hourly earnings through July for all employees, now this is all industries, all skill sets across the U.S., stood at $35.07. While this number is up 3.6% year over year, it really has remained flat over the past several months. So we'll have to wait and see if that remains flat as we go throughout the rest of the year. Let's move on to contract staffing. Now, this is according to the American Staffing Association. Staffing employment for the four weeks ending August 25th was down 12.1% year over year. Now, this has been a pattern for most staffing segments throughout the whole year, so really no surprises there. Temp health penetration rate. Now, this number has historically been right in that 2% range. However, challenging economic conditions since 2023 has really eaten away at that percentage. In June, Temp Health Services accounted for only 1.68% of all jobs. Moving now, this is from the conference board. The real GDP increased at a rate of 2.8% quarterly annualized in the second quarter of 2024. And this, this was due to increases in consumer spending and business investment. Now, the conference board for the third quarter is predicting a 0.6% growth. And then fourth quarter, they're predicting growth of 1% annualized. Now, let's wrap things up with job openings. Even though the number of job openings continues to decline, we're now at 7.7 .7 million open jobs, which is down 1.1 million from last year. Um, at this time, there are pockets of good news here. Healthcare, professional business services, and government continue to drive the new job openings. And then geographically, where are the new jobs? So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Employment is up in 61 metro areas. We've included a link to the full report on our or in our newsletter and on our blog page. Um, it's got a detailed map and a detailed report that's really fantastic, but I'll share the top three geographical areas right now. Largest percentage gains in employment are occurring in the College Station Bryan, Texas area at 6%. And then Merced, California at 5.2%. And then rounding out the top three, Charleston, South Carolina at 5% employment gains. That's it for our on-the-clock staffing stats. Thanks for tuning in.